LTL is less than truckload. It's a common shipping practice for those who don't need to move a dedicated truckload. Um, could be a skid here going to one location, skid to another. Um, typically for smaller shippers or smaller size shipments. This can be used by a lot of different types of shippers, whether it's to cut costs on shipments or on shipments that are coming in or out and don't have any time constraints. It can be a very convenient option for those that have that flexibility. Some industries that would utilize LTL would be the manufacturing industry, whether it's for um, dry foods that don't need to be refrigerated, um, manufacturing toward going from business to business. There's also occasions where you would use it to ship um, from a business to a consumer where you can't utilize your typical parcel means. LTL is a great option for those who don't need to use a dedicated 53 foot dry van. It can be very beneficial for those who have very small budgets that they're trying to work within and they also have the flexibility that entails LTL as being a good fit. So who is LTL not good for? It is not good for a shipper who is on a dedicated timeline and has a guaranteed time that they need a shipment delivered. LTL is done on a terminal basis similar to one of your parcel packages. And with that, it does come with the added risk of damage. High value shipments are not recommended to be shipped LTL as your shipment will be touched numerous times, whether by a forklift at a dock, being taken off a trailer and put on a trailer numerous times until it reaches the final destination, which is your customer. LTL shipping is very similar to the parcel shipping in the regards of both are going to be delivering directly to the final consumer, whether it be a residence or a business. Parcel shipping typically involves loose boxes and packages of lighter weight, where LTL will be skidded product, but typically at a higher weight, but still offering the flexibility of being able to deliver to a residence or a business with the different options and services they have available. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found it to be helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the Trucking Industry channel. We appreciate it.